G'day everyone, this is the updated installation video for the new version of 1700. So this is versions 1.2.12 uh, and above, um, released January 2025. Um, so we'll have a look at how to uh, install the mod for both Steam and Nexus. Uh, if you've played the game previously, the process is now greatly simplified um, and there's less mods involved, so it's all a bit easier. Um, so with that, let's get into it. So looking at the Steam installation now. So head over to the Steam Workshop, do a search for EOE 1700, should be the first or second result. It's this one here with the new icon, just click on that. And then all you need to do is hit the subscribe button. So if you don't have Harmony, it will tell you that you can also subscribe to Harmony. Um, so just go ahead and hit subscribe to all. You'll notice the uh, the download then begins down the bottom. 1.5 gigs, so might take a, a couple of minutes depending on your speed. Much quicker than Nexus though. Uh, so just wait for that to finish. Once the download's completed, it should then change to being listed as subscribed. Uh, you might actually have to close the page and open it again though for that to show up. Once it's ready, you can then just open up Bannerlord um, and you should see within the mod, uh, within the launcher screen, head over to mods and you should see Harmony and 1700, uh, which should be down the bottom. Then just hit play. If everything's gone well, we should see the loading screen and straight into game. So I'll start off with the Nexus version. Follow the link in the description to Nexus Mods um, and you'll come to the 1700 page here. So if we just take a look at requirements, you'll see that the only requirement for the mod is now Harmony. That's the only other thing you need. So just uh, right click on that, open it up in a new tab and we'll go and do that first. So head straight to the files section and just download the latest version up the top. There's just one, uh, one zip, that's all you need. So that'll download straight away. You can then head back to 1700 and start the download for the mod. So jump into the file section and yeah, again, there's only one file. Um, previously there was two, but now there's just one 3.4 gig and start that download. So once the downloads are finished, uh, head to your downloads folder and then you need to extract them into the Bannerlord modules folder. Um, with Harmony, it actually comes inside a modules folder, which is a bit annoying. Um, all you need to do is double click on that um, and this is the folder you want to extract, Bannerlord Harmony. Um, so use the, use the unzip tool of your choice, I'd recommend WinRAR. Um, take a look at the folder I'm going to here. So this is Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, uh, Bannerlord, Modules. That's the folder you extract any mods into. So with that selected, we just hit OK. Harmony will extract straight away. Then you can go and open up 1700 uh, and do the same thing. With WinRAR, you can just hit down to extract to the same location. Once that's done, uh, we can delete our downloads and head over to that modules folder and we'll double check that um, our mods are there. So I can see here's Harmony uh, and that's in the correct folder. If there was another modules folder in here, that's wrong. You need to move that out again. And I can also see 1700. So I'm all good to start the game now um, and I can just go down to Steam um, and start the mod. Head over to the mods tab and I can see Harmony already selected. And if we scroll down the bottom, we can see Empires of Europe. Uh, I don't recommend using any other mods, at least for your first run. If you do, make sure Empires of Europe is always at the bottom. And then you can hit play. This message here, um, this will always show up. It's saying that Harmony is uh, out of date. It's not out of date. Don't worry about it. Just hit confirm. And if everything goes smoothly, uh, we should see our new custom loading screen and then shortly after that the main menu should appear. Okay, fixes for a couple of common issues you might run into. The first is a blocked DLL. So you get a message like this, um, it's telling you that that DLL is blocked. 
take note of the folder location because we need to go there to unblock it. So jump into our modules folder, 1700 bin shipping client. And in my case, it was the battle artillery DLL that was blocked. We just right click on that, go to properties, and then you see this unblock button. We just tick that and then hit apply. This may happen for more than one DLL. You just do the same process for the one that it lists. But after that, we try and load up again. It'll tell us that it, uh, it crashed last time. That's fine. And then it should load in without any issue. The other issue you might run into, and this is specifically for Steam users, when you come to the loading screen, it might be all black. In fact, you won't even see this. You'll just get a black screen after you hit new game. Um, likewise, once you load into the culture selection screen, you may have missing icons or we you know where I see French Nordic, it will just be black. And finally, um, if you go and look at a troop, they may have missing clothes, missing items. These are all um, due to the same issue, which is having your Bannerlord installation on the C drive. This is not um, this is not an issue with the mod. It's a Steam and a Tail Worlds thing. Not necessarily anything I can fix. Um, but the, the the solution is pretty easy. You just need to move Bannerlord to another hard drive. So I'll show you how to do this. This is my son's machine. I'm I'm not a Pokemon fan. Um, within the library, just go to Bannerlord, um, right click and select properties. You can then go to installed files. Um, and then you've got the option to move the install folder. And all you have to do is pick another drive. If you don't have another drive, you only have a C drive, it is possible to create a partition uh, or, or partition the drive and create a new one and then move it across. I'm not going to explain how to do that in this video. It is relatively easy with Windows. Just Google how to partition a drive in Windows. But that will fix all of those issues I just mentioned. If you run into any other issues, just follow the link in the description to the Discord server. Head to the support forum and open up a thread in there and we can give you a hand.